to get himself killed. What are they gonna fucking do? Uh, the niggas know who runs shit now. Him. Yeah, Marcano. Fuck that. Never in a million years is a white man gonna slave under a wop. You watch. Between Richie's plans and the money oh, from the Christ. door, Dixie will be running this city uh. by next year. Somebody call the police on him! What's Four Finger got going on at the church? There's all kinds of dope over at the church. If you destroy it, the boss is gonna lose a lot of money. Don't leave town. Your ass is mine now. Sorry.
He's probably long gone. Hey, boys, we can't take much more of this. See if he's still over there. Leave him behind something. I ain't calling his mama. He ain't breathing. Don't think he died of natural causes. Over all Mama. heated. You're gonna have to put on a royal lady. What the hell do you think you're doing? Did I you're know? pushing your luck. Big boy here has a hearing. I don't hurt some bad. Oh! 
that son of a bitch! We run the hollow now. There he is off. Get out of some of that shit. Should have ran with y'all. Get over here. I see him. Coming 
never gets old. Better rush. No more after this. Please, Lord, help me. Oops. Hmm? So, this is the last time I'm doing this. Swear on my mother. Huh? Got no Are you scared of me?
You ought not be Power here. Snake. Oh, hey! Shouldn't have disturbed me! I've been listening in on old Charlie, and he isn't such a bad fellow. He's more of a kinder, gentler redneck, and as luck would have it, his wife is expecting. Man in that situation usually doesn't care who he works for, as long as he's still above ground. <laughs> Poor sap starts blubbering when the two of them talk about names. Right now, it's between Bocephus and Thomas Lee. Anyway, his guys have the church locked down, and all of them are more of the shoot first, let God sort them out variety of redneck. You get your hands on Charlie, though. He'll do what he's told without putting up much of a fuss. All your intel's been updated. You going back to the motel? After I get something to eat, I'll see you when you're done dealing with these inbred assholes. Watch it. Watch it. I 
told Richie not to put Charlie in charge of the heroin, but he insisted. Said he owed Charlie's old man or some shit. Charlie ain't half the man his pop was. Shit! When that nigger shows his face around here, we'll deal with them. And then deal with Charlie. Ain't this the life of adventure? What do you think George will do if he finds out all our dealers are getting hit? He'll kill Richie for sure. Probably Charlie and Merle too. Fuck. Comes to that, my ass is vanishing. George will never find me out there in that swamp. Charlie called in all the boys. We're good. Just need to hunker down and wait for that nigger to come to us. Ring to it. This shit with us getting hit doesn't get settled. My boy might wind up being named something else. Nah, I won't come to that. Boys will take care of it. You'll see. Jesus Christ! In my sights! live long enough to raise your family. Okay, sure thing. Whatever you want. That's good, Charlie. Real good. Send your men to the First Baptist Church. Those Dixie heathens have been handled. I'll have some of my men come right over. And thanks. Stay 
state your name for the record? Donovan. John. Mr. Donovan, you understand that by appearing before this committee, you have explicitly waived your constitutional rights in regards to counsel and self-incrimination. Sure. And you further acknowledge that by appearing before this committee, you agree to disclose all information pertaining to the events that occurred in New Bordeaux during the summer and fall of 1968. <laughs> I wouldn't be sitting here if I didn't. You were an operative in the Central Intelligence Agency from 1953 to 1969, is that correct? That's right. When did you arrive in Vietnam? August of 1961. Please describe for this committee the actions you took during your time in Vietnam. I spent a couple months in Saigon. Then I was transferred to a base in Laos that was operated by the Special Activities Division. We trained and equipped the Hmong and then turned them loose on the NVA. We're running arms and supplies via the Ho Chi Minh Trail. And you worked with Lincoln Clay in what eventually became the Phoenix Program. Within a year or so, Lincoln was heading up his own PRU. We'd cross over into Vietnam and locate enemy targets and either kill them or bring them back for interrogation. <laughs> Just thinking about it? Jesus Christ. You wouldn't believe the shit we did to those cocksuckers. I hurt him! We're cleaning this place up right, thanks to you. Coming through. Ugh.
this man's name is Jesse. We were just having ourselves a little conversation about which he do say. Listen, I ain't done nothing you hear. I don't know anything. I, I was just taking a walk and walking down the street and, and she scrammed me is all. You a Dixie Mafia? No, yes, I mean, shit. I did it for the money, you hear? I, I ain't got nothing personal against y'all. I don't even carry a gun. Where's Doucette? He's... He's out of the abandoned amusement park to the west of here. Banned Saturdays? What the hell is he doing out there? From what I heard, it's because you've been tearing things up. Georgie, Georgie's on a goddamn warpath. He wants Richie dead. So Richie, he grabbed what was left of the heroin and took off. Said he was gonna lay low until he could settle things with Georgie. How many men he got with him? Hell, I don't know. All of them. Hand me that knife. No, no, please. No, I ain't done nothing to y'all. Please, I, I'm begging you. My mama, my papa. Shit. Go on, get. <laughs> Hickawan do set. He ain't no threat to nobody. Let him run back home to his mama. If you wrong, there'll be hell to pay. Out of the way. Watch where you go. bad sense about this, man. Richie needs to work this shit out with Georgie. Well, he ain't got no fucking choice. Cause if he don't, we are fucked like yo mama on prom night. For sure, man. For sure. Well, better get back to it before Bobby starts hollering again. All right, then. Watch your ass down there. Hey, motherfucker! Oh, there no Welcome to Baron Saturday's Fun Park. We're sure happy to have you with us today. So put your troubles aside and enjoy yourself. You never know what that dirty old baron's got waiting for you round the corner. Yeah. 
Second guessing now, asshole. So you get your yellow ass out there, or I'll shoot you my fucking self. Shit, fuck. Fine. Huh? Lose 
Show you boys. He comes back. I'll fix Where it. Where the fuck did he go? Y'all can stop looking. We search every goddamn corner till we find him. Things just keep looking up for me. Let's have some fun. See what you can huh? find. Got him right where I want. You know, we can work something out. All you gotta do is die.
I'm not here to steal your heroin, Richie. I'm here to make you pay for what you did to Sammy and Ellis Robinson. I didn't have nothing to do with that! I watched you stab Ellis in the gut. I couldn't do nothing about it then, but I sure as hell can now. Oh, God damn it! None of that was my idea, you hear? It was all Georgie, him and his old man. They wanted y'all gone, not me. Oh. What was I supposed to do? Say no? Either that or make sure that I was dead. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, please. Please. Listen, listen. Just decent thing would be to let a man get in a prayer before you kill him. You can pray on the way up. Oh, When I saw Richie Doucette hanging from that Ferris wheel, I felt a profound sense of disbelief. Nothing like this had ever happened before. Your mobsters killed each other all the time, but it was generally a small, contained event. Some greaseball is eating spaghetti and meatballs at his favorite restaurant and gets popped in the head. But this was different. Even then, even before I knew who killed him, I knew that Richie had been put on display. Lincoln was trained in psychological warfare by the CIA. He wanted to terrify the mob, wanted them to know he was going to kill every last one of them and that none of them would be able to stop him. <laughs> <laughs> 